I once heard the saying that when your business starts becoming successful and things are going well, it's time to make changes. It's when you get comfortable that you quit growing. Leap and the net will appear is going to be my 2023 motto. That's cold. Oh, wow. I learned that when we leap into the act of creation or change, the universe answers back. It's called synchronicity. We change and the universe advances that change. It's experiences coming together and forming some sort of meaning. Unexplained moments that leave us asking questions about how certain events align in such perfect order. Like when certain events or opportunities come into play in our favor right when we need them most. It's like opening a dam. Once we remove the block, things start to flow and we experience the state of synchronicity and flow state. When COVID happened, I moved across the country to live with family and started collecting unemployment. One year later, I came back and had my most successful year. And then the next year, I had my most successful year again. But for the last year, I felt like I'm not doing enough. On the contrary, business is great. I've signed big contracts with brands I love working with. I moved my office out of the apartment into a great studio in the heart of the art district here in Denver. And I've had many other big wins along the way. These things all feel great and reassure any self-doubt that all of us artists are guilty of feeling, myself included. But I realized what I'm doing wrong. When I first started my business in Denver, I took a lot of risks, like a lot. Leaps of faith were as frequent as chasing sunsets. The biggest thing I did was stepping out of my comfort zone and trying new things over and over and over again. It's as simple as going to a different coffee shop, exploring new places, trying new things, or something as intimidating as scuba diving for the first time. Getting out of your routine, shaking things up, and taking on things that make you feel uncomfortable is when you start to experience growth. Holy cow. Is this so hard to dive down? <laughs> There's huge underwater housing. So this feeling I've had deep down inside is that I'm too comfortable. It's scary because it's easy to allow that to consume your life. I mean, let's be honest, if things are great, wouldn't it make sense just to not change anything? If it's broke, don't fix it, right? I disagree with that. As artists, creatives, and entrepreneurs, we need to keep experimenting. I look at my career as infinite mountains. Once I climb to the top of one, there is another one to climb. It's a constant pursuit of conquering and being defeated. So that leads me to my conclusion. I love traveling, reconnecting with old friends, making new ones, and the excitement of living in the moment. There have been so many times in my life where I've thought, there's nowhere else I'd rather be than right here, right now. Going to Hawaii was something I've wanted to do forever, and I made it happen. Not only that, I look back at 2022 and I realized there were so many things I tried and did that I've been putting off for so long. From cold water plunges, ice skating, pack rafting, hiring a business coach to help me take myself to the next level, I realized all I have to do is take that initial leap of faith. 
Also, why the heck have I been putting all this stuff off? My answer is because I've resisted change and getting out of my comfort zone. Something that I once was so used to, I suddenly, all of a sudden, fell back into being comfortable. The first step is always the hardest. Cliche, I know, but that's what I got for you. So my goal for 2023 is to take more leaps of faith. The author for the book, The Alchemist, Paul, I, I'm not even gonna try to say his name, but anyways, he said, you will never be able to escape your heart. So it's best to listen to what it has to say. I fully believe that when you combine the two, the net will appear.